teaching and learning at the technical universities across the country have come to a halt as the Technical Universities Teachers Association of Ghana Tutak, uh, Tutak strike took effect. Students have had to loiter on the school premises confused as to what to do. Let's begin with Judith Awachit Tando's report after she monitored the situation at the Accra Technical University. So I'm here at the Accra Technical University where the tutor strike is gradually taking effect. While some lecturers are still going to class, others are not. Students here say that this is really affecting the academics as they await examinations on the 15th of August. Honestly speaking, me as a student, I, I was supposed to come to school today, right? So I was in the car with my big brother and I overheard them saying on the radio that teachers of technical universities are going on strike and I was like, like seriously. So I got to campus and we we're supposed to have law lecture this morning but our lecturer is not in and I was gallivanting around on campus and I've heard people saying the strike has been effective, like it's confirmed. So I'm in level 200 second semester and I'm doing science. So day in day I want to improve more on my learning academics. So right now it's really affecting me as a student because um, basically Things are going on and even the online classes I'm not really participating to have a clear academic um, result to, to talk of teachers going on strike so it's really going to affect me and my, my colleagues because we are all on campus we're expecting a lecture today and now it, uh, strike has been called off I, I, I don't know what to say about it and actually it will affect us okay in a sense that like uh, for us for me I'm doing a uh, LSOT and move over to like our courses are very, very fancy, so like we need to be in school so that let's say we can get access to whatever like the teacher will teach us. So if they go on a striker, it really affects us. So that that one there, yeah, we are praying that it won't come on. Yeah, it's going to affect us because we students we need to learn to improve daily, and we are supposed to learn to um, head in to another level and we are supposed to be learning every day so that um, what we are we are not supposed to, like what we don't know we know them more and like for the teachers not teaching it's going to affect us very 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 severe yeah for for me being level 100 is going to affect me a lot because this is a time i have to get on and out and move things so that i'll get my first class or whatever I wish to get. So going on strike at this time, I don't think it's appropriate. And I think it, sh it will not help us. Yeah, so I think whoever is responsible to deal towards it must find a way to help us so that at least the one way we can do something with our lives, not to waste our time. And at the end of the day, each and everyone is going to write exam. So if we don't do well in this level 100, it's going to affect us probably for the whole thing. So I think we have to get something done. It will affect us a lot because sometimes we have to study something that maybe we are not aware of. Maybe today we have a test and we don't know. And like maybe someone has studied ahead of us and like we are not aware of it. So like we have to do something about it because it's going to affect us a lot because we are just paying fees and like we are not studying like it will affect our future so we have to be wise up and do that we stand up so that everything that is going to affect our future we can stand up for it now so this is the time that we all should stand up and fight for our rights because if we don't do it now then later we will regret it and now we are standing on behalf of the teachers and then the student populace to the government to see to the aid of the lecturers so that they can come back to class. Because uh, after all, we are going to write exams whether they teach or not. And then that, that one is going to affect us a lot. Because even when we are having one-on-one -on -one lectures and then they are teaching, we, 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 we don't even get much. And then right now they are on strike. It's going to affect us a lot. So we are pleading on, on the government to see to the aid of the lecturers so that they can come back to class and teach for our betterment. Judith Awachit Tando, the principal has been monitoring the situation at the Kumasi Technical University. He's joining me now to give us the details. Uh, Prince, what is the situation now? Yes, Gifty, uh, the situation is that um, the Kumasi Technical University 
is also feeling the pinch of this particular strike action. Um, it started over the weekend, especially for the weekend students who had um, come to school expecting to be taught, and they realized that the lectures um, were not available. Then start continue today with the regular students who have also felt the pinch. And what was happening in the morning was that the classes were eventually empty. A few students you will see in the classrooms, what they were doing was to um, encourage each other and discuss one or two things. Those who uh, knew um, what they were supposed to learn in the course of the term, try to help each other, especially with the final year students, because they were preparing for their um, final exams and also for um, writing their projects and thesis. And so, and that has been a worry for them in particular. And for them, they believe that at least some, you know, space should be given for those who are uh, writing their final exams and the final year students so they can still interact with their lecturers and uh, to continue with their projects. For the first year students, they are concerned because um, they just came to school and most of them are still here to get their um, um, materials, learning materials. And so it's been a worry for a student here at the Kumasi Technical University, Gifty. Thank you very much. Let's go to the northern region where some student of the Tamale Technical University uh, has been expressing worry about the strike. They said it would worsen their already late start of lectures. A student said lectures are yet to take shape even after four weeks. And with this situation coming on board, it would affect that already bad situation. Let's listen to them. We'll be talking to Martina Bubri shortly. Friday, we had about Actually, we had it on Friday, but then we didn't know it would be serious um, today. So when we came, we called the lecturers and said, Don't you know they are on strike? They won't be able to come. But then, since we've been resumed, this is the fourth week. We haven't had any serious class. And then, um, it's, we have it about four weeks for us to um, finish class and then write exam and this is the fourth week we have four weeks left which we haven't done any serious things so you can imagine how it is we haven't learned anything we might against your to write exam so you can imagine no handouts we don't have any information even some of the lectures haven't come to class so you can imagine some have come they just introduced the topics about the rest haven't come to class we don't have handouts we don't have anything and then they will expect us to write exam. So it's very, to me, I'm very sad because I've come to school to learn, which nothing of that sort is going on. No activities, we are just there. So to me, they're very sad. We are, we are pleading, we are pleading on the government to do their possible best to, to put things in order for our um, teachers to come back and then school and do classes in fact, as we came, the place is very quiet, and in fact, the place is very boring, and we don't know what to do. As we are here, we don't know whether to even go home or what to even do. Mm. They didn't tell us anything, so we don't know how they strike. They are going to spend. No, we came. Even we didn't even see any lecture on campus, so. We, too, we decided to wait when 12 o'clock and we'll go back to our various days, our various food. When I came, I, I, I feel bad actually because I was expecting by now lectures to be on process and with the students to feel some of better. But for now, when we came, it's like everything is not in order. So, as a student myself, I'm not actually all that happy about it. Let's get to Martina Bugri, our correspondent, who will join us with more. Martina, it's been a whole day of this situation, and we've reported already that these students are stranded. Has anything changed? No, nothing has changed yet. Um, uh, what has changed is, is, is more serious than uh, we had um, anticipated early in the morning. Well, they were hoping that at least some lecturers would come up 
um, those who had classes in the afternoon, some lecturers will come, but it looks like it's not going to happen anytime soon. And so when you get into the school as we speak now, the school is very quiet. Most of them are in their hostels and those who came from their homes to attend lectures have returned. Um, the students are used to, anytime there's a strike, they would come um, and some of the lectures will defy the strike and, and attend lectures. But this one is so different. No one is coming in to teach them. And so they are worried that the way that started, if nothing is done, if education will be great on their side. Martina, uh, hold on, Martina, I'm losing you. I don't know where that interference is coming from. Um, but speak to me again. Let's see if it's better. Okay, uh, Martina, unfortunately, we'll have to end it here. But we get the picture. The picture is in the morning, the students had just come to school. The teachers were not present. They were hopeful that these teachers will some way, somehow show up, at least some of them, as uh, uh, Judy reported uh, here in Accra. But, I mean, unfortunately, that has not happened. None of the teachers have showed up. And you are saying that it seems much more serious now than it was earlier this morning. Martina, thank you very much. Unfortunately, the interference won't allow us to go through with it. That's Martina Bugri, our Northern Region correspondent. We were supposed to speak with the Tutak President, Dr. Brigandi, and the National Labor Commission boss, Ofosu uh, Asamwa. We understand that they are in a meeting over this matter, and so we'll bring you more of that later. Well, over the weekend, we spoke to Mr. Brig uh, Dr. Brigandi, who said that they expect that all their concerns are met fully by the NLC's assurance there could be some difference. We'll keep our eyes uh, on that story and keep you posted. I want to take a very quick break. I'll be right back.